Aloha! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Usually we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel. This video is uncut. Before my dance performance, Mommy got me new tights. They're white. You got anything to say about my face? I, you colored his face with color face. <laughs> you colored my face with colored face? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> I apologize in advance for the microphone noise that's going to be happening when I turn the camera around so we can look at the things we're going to look at today. But uh, basically, you guys have been following the channel and you know that I have been letting female ball pythons keep the eggs that they lay and hold them until they hatch, with the exception of a couple that may have rolled out. And uh, there's a different species that we're doing that with in today's video that I'm excited about because it's going to be the third clutch from this female. But first, let's take a look at this over here. Um, yes, I'm glad Leia explained my face. That way I don't have to. I'm not that I ever expect you guys to take me any more seriously than I take myself, which is not very, but I kind of like, it's kind of like Ultimate Warrior or something. Guys, what's about to hatch? Something already did hatch. Yay! Okay, so what we have here is we have this bamboo female over here, Dot, who I've showed you guys plenty of times, is sitting on eggs still. And if you watched, you remember a couple of her... Ooh, she's kind of showing them right now, which is perfect. All right, here comes that microphone noise I talked about. So, she is sitting on those eggs, and there's a couple that had rolled out when she first laid her clutch. You mean nice, Mama? And I've got another um, theory... Or not, not theory, so I've got another experiment I'm going to do for scientific purposes. And that's to see if I can as easily move the other animal off of the eggs as I can her without getting bit. I've got a feeling it's not going to be nearly as easy. But I just kind of want to take a look at these just to see where they're at. Because it looks to me like they're not really anywhere near quite ready to hatch. And that's probably a temperature thing and maybe a couple of other reasons. But I'm going to let her keep on keeping on with those eggs right there. Because she's been doing a great job so far. And, uh, yeah, but my point is, so these eggs were in the incubator and it's been almost exactly 55 days, which is your standard, which is your standard amount of time that passes before snakes come crawling out of the egg, um, about 55 days. This is an egg from the clutch, the animal that we're going to look at in just a moment. One sec, T. And this is uh, looking like it's probably like an Enchi spot nose or something. Definitely uh, Enchi, and I'm thinking also spot nose, which is great because that means the dad is, in fact, the GHI Enchi spot nose red stripe clown. And there's the bamboo head popping out right there, of course, because it came from mom, which is, a, and I'm sorry it's not mom, focusing. It's going to hatch soon. Yes, yeah, it's hatching right now. So we can see how it hatches out. What? So we can see it hatch. Yeah, it's, it's hatching right now, literally as you're looking at it, it's hatching. So these are all going to be het clown um, and beautiful. So these have hatched here at about 55, 56 days. And the next step is going to be to see how many more days. And her hotspot's sitting about 88, 89 usually, whereas the incubator had it like 90. So it's not a huge temperature difference. But it is her, you know, regulating the temperatures more than just the incubator with its thermostat. What so these have hatched here. We'll keep track of how many days longer it takes before the eggs hatch out that are sitting there with mom. What's up? Uh, what happened to this baby? Oh, that one right there? Mm -hmm. That one is that snake right there that came out of the egg. So these two are still hatching? Um, this, this one here... This one here is still hatching. That one has already hatched. But let's take a look at this. What do you say? Oh, Freedom Breeder Rack Shelf. <laughs> do I need to say anything else? And you can, you guys can follow along with all this on morphmarket.com. I'm going to be putting up all the information as far as technical stuff 
and what happens on the new features they have there that have, have come out this year with the offspring groups and just all the information that you can put up about your snakes. And, and there's so much more information and things coming on morphmarket.com that you will be able to track um, from other people's snakes as well as your own snakes. And take a look at this. Oh. Yes, that is sangria sitting on a big clutch of eggs. And my scientific experiment right now is going to be to see if I can just as easily kind of peel her back and get a little egg count as I can with a ball python. I don't know that that's exactly how this is going to work. She's always been a great snake, but this is a whole different scenario where she's got eggs, of course. But I would like to get kind of a count, mainly so that I can relay the information to my buddy Travis over at Living Legless Reptiles and let him know how many eggs we're looking at because it was his male that sired this clutch. So just so we have an idea of what's going on. Oh, and she, as soon as I move my hand, she put it right up. She's like, what? It's okay, mama. It's me. It's me. I'm not going to hurt your eggs. I promise. I just want to get a little look. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. We're fine. I'm not going to hurt your eggs. I just want to take a quick look and I'm not going to take them from you. I promise I'm not going to take them. I just want to look and see what we got going on under there, okay? And I promise I'm going to let, put you right back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one of them looks like it's not going to do so well here, and that's fifteen. And then also she kicked this one out right here, so that would be sixteen. So there we go. Hi, right, Mama. See, I told you I wasn't going to bother you too much. Hey, you go ahead and go back in there and. You hold on to those eggs. I'm gonna let you keep them, okay? You're gonna. Until they hatch. <laughs> What's that, T? I want her to keep them until they hatch. She's gonna keep them until they hatch, T. That's that's the plan. And except with the exception of that one that I put in to share with the bamboo mama dots clutch. So. Daddy, why is that one still in its egg now? Uh, he's a little tired still. He's resting. It's a hard work to cut out of the egg, so he's got to take a little rest before he comes all the way out. Like that one did. Just like that one did. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.